Hi, welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence and I'm here for video number two of the day. And guess what? Storm Shadow came in. Cobra Officer came in a couple days ago. That means it's time for the G.I. Joe Classified Spirit Iron Knife. Now, once again, you can see he's already taken out of the package because once again, you guys have already seen him in the package and hopefully everyone has seen him. So. I want to get these open, take a look at them, take some videos of them. I know I did mention that I'll be showing videos with them, or studying the videos with the stuff in it and then opening it um, in kind of real time, but we already know how the classified work. I will be doing it with Chitara when it comes in tomorrow, possibly. So, anyway, this is our Jido Spirit Iron Knife, number 36, right? Yeah, 36. And once again, individual artwork. And I'm gonna say what a lot of people seem to not wanna say. This is the worst artwork of all the classified. Um, when Stalker comes out, that may give it a run for its money, but this is the first artwork that I honestly said I don't like. I know art is everyone's interpretation. I just don't like it. And then on the back, we have all the figures to date. I think most of the figures today that we will be losing once we get our windowless packaging so there's that now here is our figure and his whole loadout will go on his body other than the extra wings but that's something you have to decide how you want to set up your freedom i don't even think they named the bird freedom it's probably offensive um and i'll get into a few things with that this figure does look amazing. I'm, I'll be right out, uh, honest. I never really cared for Spirit. Um, I didn't like him in the cartoon. I, I just, there was nothing that appealed to me. And same with this figure. He doesn't really appeal to me as a figure, but the figure looks extremely, extremely nice, especially the face sculpt. But we'll go over it. I'm gonna compare him to the O-ring. My O-ring has seen better days, to be honest, so. Let's take a look at Freedom Spirit, his weapons loadout, his backpack and everything. And then you guys can decide what you want to do and you want to spend your hard earned money. And again, if you like the video, follow the channel, hit the bell for notifications, post comments. Like if you see anything that you like that you disagree with, tell me why. Um, I'm always open to a discussion when it comes to our little action figure so let's take a look at this all right so here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the original o-ring figure to the classified figure and when they talked about all the updates now i no longer have the bottom piece that went with spirit and i don't have his original gun this is actually from the weapons pack so it's, it's not green but i don't have freedom i should think i have freedom somewhere i just don't have um his claws have broken off so i'd have to find them but i will say this when they talked about how much they updated it i really did think that it was going to be just completely changed from what we had here but looking at these figures side by side i gotta say they actually did a wonderful job of matching what he had going on to here so again this guy has seen better days his blue is um let's just say a little sad <laughs> um where this blue really does pop i really do like the body mold i do like the the cuffs i think it looks really nice no pinless I, that i don't really understand why this figure isn't pinless this far on the line but so let's take a look at these two figures um so to start off he's got two different knives and a sidearm now you can see on this there's no sidearm but i'm looking at this they did give him his joe pro communicator up here but starting right from the top here both of these men look very angry which i think is nice it keeps an angry look although they don't look anything alike but i'm fine with that so he's got his red headband he's got his ponytails or pigtails shall i say um he is red at the end of here now, on the O-ring figure, it seems like everything was just kind of on the shirt. Where on this, they did the 
bandolier or whatever you want to call it. Let me just say, <laughs> you know, when people say Lenny doesn't follow G.I. Joe or doesn't know what he's talking about, man, this guy has really recreated some amazing figures. So when you look here across the bandolier, if that's what it's called, he has two, he has a smoke grenade and a regular grenade, and they are the same shaped as in the O-ring. Same with the pocket, sits there. And then when you look at the knife, so you look at that knife, you can kind of tell it looks like it's supposed to be some sort of shaped um, blade or blade handle. Well, guess what? He too has a shaped blade, bladed handle. So you can tell this is the one that goes up here. And then on the side, once again, here's the same thing. You look at the two different knives, they made this one black and this one's white, but it has a curved handle and it sits on the side the same way. So once again, I think it looks really nice. I think they did a wonderful job there. It clearly is supposed to have a darker blue on the O-ring, but it's got the red undershirt. Well, guess what? Same thing. And then you look at the side here. Now these were in the front that he has his, he has his army uh, stripes. He has his army stripes here, but what they did was they fixed it. These were upside down. This is the way it's supposed to be. And then I don't know what this is. I should probably should ask the community. Maybe someone can tell me what it is, but there is an emblem on his uh, shoulder up here. And guess what? The exact same one is over here, but you know, when you're looking close at it, you know, in person, you can see exactly that it's there. Um, and then as you follow down, he's got the brown boots, brown pants. So it all looks really nice. And then on the back, it's really not too much because he doesn't have a belt other than he has pockets. And then on here, oops, on here, they give him a sidearm, which let's be honest, I think every military figure should have now they did give him gloves on this you can clear see he also has his wristbands now these ones weren't painted but clearly they're supposed to be and he has them on both now they gave him a bigger piece here and this is where you can actually connect freedom to um so again i really like this figure again i've never been a big spirit so there's no connection to this but i think this is an absolutely amazing figure i do wish it was um, pinless, but I'm not one of those people that get too upset about the pin. And the other thing is, when you look at his sleeves, they are they are cuffed or folded over the same way. So again, I, I really like the way they did this. Going back to the original classified, I was comparing them, and you could see where they took it. And as course correction happened, they changed so much. Uh, so anyway, let's take a look at them. Here's a T-pose, no problem whatsoever. Again, unlike the Valiverse, which I pointed out, they have the piece that sticks out so your arms don't go up all the way. Double joints, elbows, bicep swivel. No pinless here, but double. He can touch his butt for the most part, but again, how many of us can really do that? And that's because these sit up higher than on like the Valor Versus that I've reviewed. He does have the thigh swivel, boot cut, and nice ankle rocker. He does seem a little back heavy, especially when he has his backpack on. Where I think if you just want to stand him up like this, you may have some issues with him wanting to fall back. So, then his weapons load out here. He's got... One knife. Now this one's not painted or anything. No big deal because I'm not going to use that one too much. Up here, he does have a nice serrated painted one. I think that looks nice. His sidearm, as much as I love the 45, it seems like it's a bit big. But, you know, I'm not going to nitpick on some things that are a little too big. I, I did the Valiverse and I think like the AK-47 and some of the 
earlier models seem to be a little too big. Uh, that's nitpicking, and I'm just not going to do stuff like that. And then you have his backpack. So if you look at his backpack here, even though they got rid of the arrows in here, it looks very similar. Now, rather than have one big pouch, they have two, two pouches, and they made it so Freedom can sit on it or sit on his arm because they have pegs right here. He has pigs on his arm. So that looks really nice. And then, obviously, they still use the peg system here so you can put his sniper on it. Um, but I do like that. I like the color changes. I think it kind of probably fits better than just the green. It really matches with his insomnia of what he's wearing. As for a sniper rifle, you do have a clip that comes out. It does look really nice. Um, it was warped a little bit, not too bad. If you really have an issue, uh, you can heat these up just in hot water, straighten them by, you know, straighten them, put them in the refrigerator, and just kind of let it cool and it will solve the problem for a little bit. This one's not that bad. The AK-47 on the Cobra Officer seems to be bent a little more. Um, it does have some paint apps to it, so it does look nice. It's just not a black rifle. And it does fit in his hands fairly well, as you can see in the pictures that I did. So, overall, an extremely nice figure. I know I'm not, now I'm gonna say this. You know what, I'll say it at the end. I'll say it at the end. Okay, so here's, freedom now this is with his closed wings and then here are his open wings and let me just say these things come off nice and easy there's no pop to it but you can also tell they're probably not going to get loose that easily it's a nice big peg here nice hole here no issues whatsoever and then there isn't a right and a wrong way for these so now you have him, and he's, as you can see, over six inches. <laughs> he's over six inches wide. He does have a head articulation, so you can move his head a little bit. And then his legs do move up and down. So not a lot of articulation, but you can only do so much. And as you can see in the first picture that I did have at the beginning of the video, I had him landing at his arm, so... Again, looks real nice. So, and he fits in pretty tightly. So you're not gonna have to worry if there's any issues. Uh, getting this on. I have to worry about him falling off. And in actuality, you could probably just get away with only one. And maybe you can, because I'm putting it in the right spot. That's what she said. Alright, so there you go. He's not going to fall. He can raise his arms. You know, I kind of had him like he's landing. Kind of got to set him far back. And to get him to stand, you're going to have to pose these legs rather than just be a standing straight up. So he looks kind of stupid there. Kind of looks like Eagly uh, from Peacemaker right there. <laughs> anyway, so that's it. That is, take a look, you know, a look at our spirit iron knife. And then you have, again, these pegs here. They just slot right in. No big deal. He's not going to fall out. And I'm assuming you can probably get him to stand. Maybe you can't. Eh, may have to use the wings to get him to stand on the ground. And nothing like telling you I'm doing that and not having him in, in the video so there we go uh, let's wrap it up and I'll tell you what I was talking about before all right so there it is that's your spirit iron knife now what I was getting at saying that I don't understand why they changed things now I understand they got rid of the um was it a war or something because they wanted to give him an actual heritage where the original O-ring was kind of just a, a mix and match of Native American. And I'm fine with that. That you wanted to lose that because, hey, you know what? I think they were Cherokee, but they said, hey, they didn't wear those. Well, that's cool. But what I never understood was they dropped the tracker because they said it was offensive. Now, I don't know. And hey, listen, I'm not trying to be offensive to people 
or insensitive. If you want to put in the comments the reason why, but I don't understand where tracker is something that's offensive. So they change them to sniper rather than tracker. Whatever, it doesn't really change anything. I always thought being a tracker in any type of military was um, something good to have. Like you always want to have some sort of tracker. Um, so that's something that I just, I, I don't, I don't understand. Again, and then when they lost the, um, the arrows. Now, I'm not going to lie. That was the one thing I always really liked. And that was because I was hoping to see this gun. Because I guess if you want to say that, yeah, it's kind of offensive because it's arrows and it's supposed to be like an Indian shooting bow and arrows. I just thought it was a really cool design. And I always loved the fact that the backpack was technically holding two extra clips. I thought that would have been really awesome to have a backpack with two extra clips of the arrows that were in this kind of a futuristic dart gun. I mean, you could have given them both. So. There's a couple of things that I don't fully understand. Maybe that's being ignorant. If it is, I apologize. But I don't understand why Tracker is offensive. I never took it that way. I understand if you don't want to be called an Indian. That I, I guess I do understand. But I'm not Native American. So I don't know if that's such a big deal. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. This is Spirit. Again, I never liked Spirit. I think it goes back to... Him beating up Storm Shadow in the cartoon. <sighs> yeah. He was like one of the greatest ninjas. He was like one of the greatest ninjas. And he got beat up by... <sighs> Spirit. So I think that's one of the reasons why I never liked Spirit, to be honest. Um, but this figure... Again, if they wouldn't have made one, I wouldn't have been too upset. But looking at it, he's... A, He's a no-nonsense guy that I really do like. I do like the sniper. I mean, I think it would be cool to give them both. Um, hey, maybe, you know, Lenny just said, you know, having a dart gun <laughs> um, is uh, kind of useless. But then again, they did give them Nerf guns. And you really want to battle with a dart gun than a Nerf gun. And the sniper does fit pretty nicely. You can get his arm around it. I had it in the picture. So you heat them up. Their hands fit real nicely. So, all right, that's it. I'm going to get out of here. Again, on the socials, a punk with toys that's on Twitter and that is also on Instagram. Um, and again, I hope everyone's getting this stuff. I have a bunch of stuff. If you look over my shoulder, you can see Crackmaster. I do have a vintage Crackmaster O-ring. Pretty much just the body. <laughs> I don't have very much left of him. But he's actually in pretty decent shape. But I'll be doing that one either tonight or tomorrow. So anyway, more than likely I'll probably do it in a few minutes, to be honest. Um, anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Bunk with toys. Follow the channel. Hit the bell. Show me that, you know, hey. You guys enjoy the enjoy the content. So I'm gonna get out of here. Once again, have a wonderful night and happy toy hunting.